What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to be playing this indie horror game called Stairs. Now I really don't know that much about it. I've heard like some reviews, well I should say, I've read some reviews and people say it's pretty cool, it's pretty scary. So I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try my traditional teach you random Esperanto words while playing a horror game because you know that's what logical people do. But anyway, let's begin. <laughs> okay, um so I guess since we're playing a game you know, called stairs. It seems kind of natural that I should teach you the word for stairs. Does shift run? Yes, it does. So the word for stairs in Esperanto is stupado, stupado, and it's actually a combination. Well, it's not really a combination. It's a um, root word plus a uh, what is it? A suffix. So stupo is a stair, as in like or a step, I should say, like it's an individual one, like these here. Like that's one stupo, that's another stupo. And ardo means like group. So stupado is a group of steps, which is stairs. I'm guessing E is to open? Yes, it is. Oh, 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 almost got taken out by the bloody door. Okay, might as well learn that while, word while we're here. So the word for door is porodo. porodo. So we have a fire door extinguilo, which is a fire extinguisher, but there's actually none there. So uh, we've got some cabinets. Nope. Uh, the word for cabinets in Esperanto is charanco. It's really freaking dark in here, man. I don't like this at all. What do we got in here? Ooh! We have a shaltillo, which is a switch. Shaltillo. Okay. Not cool. What do we got? Um, got a door there. Can we go through here? I'll need the code to open it. Okay, so apparently I need the code. And the word for code in Esperanto is codo. Codo. Ooh. What do we have in here? <laughs> and nothing. Okay, cool. Um, what do we got? Blah blah blah. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, now just so you guys know, like when I play these games, I usually try to build up the tension first. So I'm assuming there's nothing going to be jumping out and trying to eat my face straight up. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What is this? We have a mapo. Mapo. So six one four one is blocked. You are here, the red arrow thing. Door schematics and door code. This could be very elusive. Ooh, I pressed E on it. What's a Hey, I got a camera! Oh, I hope this isn't one of those games where you gotta take photos of ghosts to make them go away, because that's not cool. That is not cool at all. So, um That wasn't flashing before. Yeah. I wanna go this way. No, I can't. Okay, so let's just go to the flickering Let's go to the flickering light, because that seems logical. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Let's have a look in this potter door. Nope, I can't open it. I wanted to see what was in there trying to eat my face. Okay, so we're going to go out here. Let's have a look around. Um, I've got a picture of the map. Maybe I can go back now. What's in here? Oh, no, that's where I started. Ah! Oh. Can you hear that? Oh, I get the feeling if I open this door, I enter the corridor, the code, there's going to be something jumping out at me. No. Cool. Nothing. Okay. So, what do we got? Um, we got a vent. We got a porridor, which here is closed up. What else have we got? Let's just keep walking. So, la la la. What? It's been ages and no one's come down here yet. What are we going to do, guys? We just need to sit tight and wait. They'll come get us when they realize we're gone. They could even be outside the door right now, just minutes from getting it open. We just have to wait. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Bicep, do we have anything left to eat? No, nothing. Except. Except. Nothing. Jacob, go check the kitchen again. Samuel and me will check the other door. <laughs> oh, sounds like someone's gonna get eaten. More. That would suck, man. Well, like, it, obviously it'd suck to get eaten, but would it suck more to eat someone? I don't know. Depends how you're killed, I guess. What do we got? So we got TGSO8. Let's practice the numbers in Esperanto while we're at it. So the number for 8 is Ock. Ock. And I guess that's easy enough to remember because it sounds like octopus. That's kind of how I remembered it. Um, we got a map. So what are we? Where? You are here, the red. Okay, so this one hasn't got a number on it. I wonder why. Maybe something important. Man, I don't like all this darkness. What do we got? Uh, nothing there. 
yeah that's flickering so it seems we've got a lot of doors around here let me just check this map out one more time what? okay so it looks like when these guys were stuck down here they kind of like blacked off the places they couldn't go so what do we got we can go I'm here I've come through that way I think so if I go out that way let's try that what do we got okay so we're going down the random hallway um, all these things seem to be blocked off Ooh, what is this what is this looks like the exit door needs a fuse of its own to work okay so it seems like I need some type of fuse or something okay let's go back whoa we need to do something, Samuel. What do you suggest, Isaac? There's nothing for us to do other than wait for help. And what if it doesn't come? What then, Samuel? What if help comes, but it's too late, and we've already started? That's not gonna happen. They're gonna burst through the door and get us out of here. Hey, um... This you wasn't open be before. Days, even weeks until they find us. And we have to stay alive till then. The what both the? Us. What about Jacob? If we're going to live, we need to eat. And the only thing left to eat <laughs> yeah, is, right. is Jacob. Okay, so that random door I was trying to get through is freedom, I'm guessing, because I'm here and I tried to go up there. So that's the way out. Okay, cool. Um, apparently Jacob's going to get eaten, or has been eaten, I should say. Um, what else have we got? So we've got a bunch of lights. So we have Lampoy here, and I'm guessing if I click that, yes, that opens up something. So if I press that again, not the same thing. Can I have two open? No, I can't. It appears I can only have one. So let's go to the closest one. Let's look for seven. And the number seven in Esperanto is Sep. Hey, cool. That was a good guess. So we got seven. We got eight. What are these things? We got ten and something that looks it's like it's fried. Awesome! So let's go to Sep. Quick check. I'm here. Let's have a look. Oh, oh god, my torch scared me. Um, apparently your torch just automatically turns off when you enter that room, which is not cool. Let's go in here. Let's see what we've got in here, shall we? Oh man, this all this darkness is getting to me, eh? Okay. Okay, what do we got? So somehow I've ended up passing through seven coming out this side into this room here. Do I want to go in here? It's like a dead end. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I honestly don't know if this is a good idea, but ooh, what is this? I'll need something to open the valve. Okay, so apparently I can't open that yet. Well, that sucks. Oh god, I heard my own breathing. Why is my camera shaking? Did you find anything, Jacob? There's nothing here. I'm starting to think we aren't getting out of this place. Did you guys find anything? We found something. At least until rescue gets here. Oh, really? That's great. What is it? Do, do you have it with you? We have it right here. Isaac, that's just a knife. <laughs> Close your eyes, Jacob. And this whole nightmare will soon be over. Oh, sorry, I know this is meant to be a horror game, but that's kind of funny. He's like, Oh, so you found something. What did you find? He's like, well, we found this knife. Oh, why are you pointing it, you know, at my stomach? Why are you stabbing me? Ah, type of thing. <laughs> Just kind of a bit silly, that's all. Okay, what do we got? Whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Oh, no, you don't. So you... Uh, whoa. We killed Jacob. And we ate him. Get out. Isaac is going to stop. Uh, stop with the Unless light. Stop Unless I kill him, so I can live. What? I have to live. That is my stuff. Has to die. So apparently they eat Jacob. I think that's it. They eat Jacob. What? Where, where'd that thing go? That was on here. They eat Jacob, and then you know after they've eaten him, he's like a bit paranoid that now he's going to be eaten next. So he's like, let's kill Isaac. That sounds cool. Okay, so I've checked. What did I check? I've checked 8 and 7. Let's go to 6. 6 seems like a cool place to go. The word for 6 in Espano is ses. Ses. Um, I guess it sounds kind of similar to 6. It's pretty easy to remember. Let's have a look. I goddamn light. Okay, um, 6. 
There's bound to be something going to pop up soon, eh? Let's open this door up. Okay, let's have a look. La la la. What do we got here? Okay. Ooh, what is that? Is that safe? Can I pick that up? Ah, oh, uh, it's a fallen cabinet. By the way, the word for cabinet in Esperanto is shranko. Shranko. A loose valve handle. Should be a vault to use it on somewhere. Oh, I know where to use that. <laughs> so yeah, the that's really dark. Oh, stop with the sh. It has to be done. Jacob was weak, and we have to live, no matter what. I have to live, no matter what. I have to live, and Samuel has to die. Well, man, my leg is twitching at the moment. I'm starting to wig out here. I don't know what's going to happen. I hate massive build-ups for games. I want to check out 10. And the word for 10 is deck. Um, can I press 10? No, I can't. Okay, so I can't do 10, apparently. Uh, what else we got? We got 5 and 9. So let's go check out 5. The word for 5 in Esperanto is kvin. Kvin. Let's try that. So cool. Cool, cool. Uh, what do we got? We got six. We got seven. Uh, is it down here in the darkness? That's ten. There. Oh, there we go. There's five. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, this looks like a kitchen, maybe, or a a cafeteria, a manjeo, which is like an area for eating. Manji is the verb to eat, so ayo is like location. Can I go in here? There's nine. No, I can't go that way. These rooms, I swear, are getting darker and darker. Uh, so that door won't open. It's closed. Hey, interesting thing. I don't know, like, for those who are learning Esperanto, or I guess really any language, in Esperanto, the word for closed is fotomi. Fotomi. Well, that's too closed, I should say. I should get my grammar correct. Get my grammar correct. So, ten. Um, fotomi. Oh, did I just do ten? What am I going to do? Sorry, I'll get back to this third of me thing in a sec. I tried to go to nine. Um, yeah, the, the word to close in Espana is third of me. And so you'd say a door is third of me, so it's closed. But to say a door is open, you opposite that. You say mal third of me, so it's um, open. Now, to me, that seems really strange to my English mind. I don't know if there's other people. Is this a dead end? Did I just go in a circle? I guess I did. Yeah, nine wasn't a good one. Um, yeah, to me it seems a bit strange because in my mind, a door's natural state is open. I don't know if that's for you guys, if that's what it is. So when someone, when I was first learning Fodomi and Malafodomi, so Fodomi clo to close and Malafodomi to open, um, I was a little, oh, I should go to five, shouldn't I? Uh, I went to six, so five is Kevin, Kevin. Where's five, Kevin? Okay, cool, let's go to five. Wait, no, seven, seven, I need to go to sep. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit hard for me to get that into my, my mind, that the that open is actually just opposite. Did you guys hear that? Oh man, these doors, they make a lot of racket. That's, you know, I'm going to keep talking because when I'm talking, I don't get scared so much because all I hear is my own voice. And that probably sounds like I love myself or something, but yeah, it's less scary when I just hear me rather than just the quiet creaking of the room. <laughs> okay, do I want to go in here? Ooh, what is this? Perhaps I can use this to turn on the power and open some doors. Ah, uh, so we got like a power grid type thing or like chip or something. Um, interesting. And that's probably the word for chip is blato. Blato, okay. But also the word for cockroach is also blato. Interesting thing I randomly stumbled across when I was learning the language. So if you learn the word for cockroach, you know the word for computer chip. It's blato. Well, I'm getting a little bit confused here. Where are we going to go? Um, aha, here we go. Now, ah, flashy, flashy thing. I was actually going to go walk all the way around and try and go straight to freedom. <laughs> okay, let's try this. These electronics are practically ancient. I hope they still work. Oh, yeah, so... <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Okay, should I go to 9 or should I go to 10? 
Uh, where are they? So we've got nine or now is there, and ten is there. Let's go check out ten. I don't know why deck seems like the place to go, but it's where all the cool kids are. Oh, yeah, the damn light keeps getting me. So let's go to is that ten? Was that light always flashing? Can you guys tell me if that light was always flashing? Because I'm starting to wig out right now. Yeah, so Blatop means both cockroach and chip. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Um, whoa! Whoa! That was not cool. Did you guys just see that random black shadow thingy walking by? Hi! I'm Evil D. It's nice to meet you. Anyway, so I'm not going to go back in there. Let's close that. No, I can't. I can't. Fermi la pordon. Damn it. Um, I'm guessing that room doesn't contain anything. Let's try nine. By the way, we might as well learn the word for ghost since it looks like that's what we're coming up against. And the word for ghost in Esperanto is fantomo, fantomo. So we can go to nine. Hey, hang on. Can I also press five? Oh, can I like open all of them? Oh, no, I can't. I thought I could open them all now because I plugged the chip in. Okay, let's go to five. Five seems like the cool place to be. What do we got down here? We got deck, which is 10, and we got 5. Oh, I really hate the sound of these doors. Okay, so let's go this way. What do we got? We got 9. Oh yeah, cool. Oh, I'm getting paranoid and paranoid. Let's go... Should I go that way or this way? I swear, is this room getting game moves? What is that? Well, what's going on? Let's... Phantomo! Oh shivers! Oh shivers! Run! 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 Oh, where can I go? Um, left. In here. In here. In here. Open! Ah! Oh shit! There's a phantomo and it wants to eat my face. Open! Oh shit! Oh! Oh mother Christ! Cheeseburgers! Um, can I go right? Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> where can I go? I don't know where to go. Fantomo, Fantomo everywhere. Can I? Oh. Oh no. Oh, what's this do? What's, what does a pipe do to a ghost? Die. What's going on? Do I have a weapon? Do I have a weapon? Maybe I'm like... Is that smoke coming off that toilet? No, it's just light. Oh, what? Oh, there's lots of blood. By the way, guys, the word for blood in Esperanto is sun go, so let's... Let's just follow the sun go into the dark room. Yes! This, this could get me out of here. No, it can't. Oh, what? This is where I had lunch. You know, I reckon, if you haven't guessed it by now, that I'm the guy who killed these people and ate them, and then I escaped and I decided to come back in and relive my experiences, because that's what you do after you eat your mates. <laughs> Bugger the hell off. No way. Uh oh. I don't know if you can hear me, or if you even care. But I'm begging you to end this. It's a nightmare. Then take me out of here. I would do anything, just make it stop. What is that? I'm seriously tripping out right now. Okay. Can someone tell me where the hell I went to go? Oh, this has been blocked off now. Before I ran in there, but now it's suddenly blocked off. I guess I'm not meant to go that way. I guess I'm meant to go back. Now that I've looked at all the bodies that I ate. 
by the way, the word for like body, like a dead body, um, is cadavro in Esperanto. Um, the word for body, like as in a human body, is corpo, but that's assuming that it's alive. And it's not the remains of a body. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Can I go down this way? Should I be running down here? It's probably a bad... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Shit, fuck, no. Not now, damn it. No. Mm -mm, no. Stay calm. Camera flash. I can use the camera flash. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Um, what else were we going to eat? Okay, sounds legit. What's a sun go? Oh, they did the blood really good in this game, eh? Sun got everywhere. I hope his flash doesn't run out anytime soon, eh? That would suck. Okay, I'm following the sun god back to where I started. No one is coming. How much blood does body that he used randomly have? Wow, that looks like there's a lot down there. Whoa, the sound effects are picking up. <laughs> that scared the living bejesus out of me. La Fantomba is everywhere, had to live. By the way, guys, when I get scared, I sing. I'm a terrible like singer, by the way. But it's something I do. They have come. Uno, two, three. Chuvi valas tanzi and granda rondo. I'm trying to sing a happy song right now. Chuvi valas tanzi and granda rondo. Inter la zombioi kaila tuta mondo. Why? I'm in here! Can you hear me? We can hear you! Are you okay? Can you open the door? I'm the guy who ate everyone. I knew it! Are you okay, sir? Take a photo. Take a photo. Okay. Plug that in now. And I'm back where I started. Mm -mm. I'm back on the... What was it for stairs? Stuparo. Stuparo. You are on to it. You are one clever mofo. After this ordeal, I took some time to look up the case of Jacob Donner, Isaac Eddy, and Samuel Reed. Samuel survived his friends and was rescued. But he brought something with him from the darkness. Soon after he regained his freedom, Samuel Reed kidnapped and murdered an eight-year-old boy, took his body down to the same shelter, and ate him. The authorities found him, and he was sent to a mental hospital, where he still remains. This was five years ago. Way! So apparently I wasn't the person who ate everyone, I was just some reporter going through and deciding, you know, let's walk through this place. Hey, hang on! Why the hell was there still, like, bits of bodies in there? Like, didn't someone come in afterwards and go, we should clean this place up, you know, in case some kids come down here, if their friend's doing a dare and they find some bodies laying around? No, actually, it would be awesome. Let's leave it laying there. So when the kids come down, they're like, I dare you to go into that room. No, I can do it. And he walks in, he sees, like, a bit of a body there. He'll be like, ah! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I would do that. No, I, but why would I have bodies? Anyway, that's besides the point. So yeah, thanks for playtesting this demo. No problem, that scared the bejesus out of me several times there. I had to really hold my cool. I had to be on the mark. But yeah, that was a good game. Um, it's called Stairs in English. Uh, Esperanto is Stupado, Stupado. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had some fun. It's a little bit terrifying there at points. And I hope to see you in the next video. And if not, well, we shall be locked together somewhere and 
we can be friends. But when food comes, <laughs> that was a really bad ending. Bye bye.